Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. And I am late, but I need to start vlogging for the day. But it is 8.45. We're headed to Itty Bitty Ball. And I wanted to do a quick outfit of the day for you guys. Because, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this is a necklace that I got from Madewell. This is a shirt from Old Navy. And this is a maxi skirt that I got from Old Navy. Um, it's like green. It's not coming up true to color on here. But I got it from Old Navy for $10. It's normally $35. And then these are just some sandals from Gap, I believe. And then... A lot of you guys are asking about my diaper bag. This is the brown fawn design diaper bag. She sent me the brown one as well. And I am just as obsessed with it as I was with the black one. So I just switched it up and I'm using the brown one now. So ready to go to Itty Bitty Ball? I have a surprise for you there, remember? We have Molly. You want the surprise? Look at these sandals she's wearing today. She's wearing some jeggings. These are from my sister Mindy. Say Mindy. thank you, Mindy. <laughs> Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Let's go see Willie. Hurry, Max, go. Ooh. Hurry, Max, go. Let's go to Itty Bitty. Okay, so change of plans. We're not going to Ikea anymore because my friends that were going to come with me can't come anymore, so it kind of defeats the whole purpose. Uh, so we're not doing that. And then the whole preschool fiasco continues. The reason why I was freaking out about preschool is, yeah, you know, I want to spend more time with Will, but it starts at 8 a.m., so my concern is getting all through all four of us out of the house by 8 a.m because i can't just leave them at home by themselves and no i don't care about like getting ready or anything but you know that's just really early to get out of the house every morning with all three kids so that was my number one concern i should have expressed that when i talked about uh changing preschools so i went to the preschool today and they said that will has to test to get into the preschool and there's like four spots left in the class but there's like 10 people trying to get into the class and so I'm like I don't think we're gonna get in so I'm thinking I'm just gonna keep him in the four day a week uh, preschool for now and I'm like looking at a couple different options just in case at a couple different schools but most of them are full because it's already August and so yeah so I'm kind of worried about that getting out of the house that early because you know not everybody is up and at that up at that time of day or whatever. Sometimes I'd like my kids to sleep in. Like Max right now, I was like, I'm tired. Um, anyway, so I'm going to this place called The Swig, and if you live in Utah, then you know what it is. But it has like dirty Diet Coke, which is basically like coconut syrup inside of a Diet Coke with lime. And then they have really good sugar cookies. Um, I'm just gonna get myself a Diet Coke and then- I want a drink. Well, you don't want a cookie just to drink? Um, but yeah, like I'm just giving myself this as a little treat because I'm I'm not in the uppityest mood this morning. I don't know what it is. I feel like nothing's like happening great today, so I'm kind of in a slouch. So I'm gonna order. Toys. I'm gonna go see the toys. Yeah. Okay, we're at Target right now, and I'm wearing Molly because she woke up and she's being cuddly in my baby boy. Oh, she just gagged herself. Don't Toys gag yourself. Yes, let's go. And I got her a couple of really cute shirts that were on sale. So I'm excited about that. Did you just stub your toe? This is crazy. Okay. Okay, come sit down in the shopping cart. I have to get one of these huge ones. Come on, let's go. Can you sit in the, you wanna walk? Okay, you gotta stay with mommy then. Okay, if you wanna see Molly chunky face, then you have to follow mommy. Okay. Chunky kids. Chunky kids. Where are you going? Where are you going? Molly, Molly. Say hi to everyone. That's that's a cute maternity outfit. <laughs> I always have cute stuff when I'm not pregnant. That's what always ends up happening. We are going. This is a way you can go, Willie. Look. Look who fell asleep on Mommy and Target. My cute baby girl. She's so sweet. With her cute shoes dangling. Look how cute her shoes are. Look at this Batman. Ooh, so Will and Max have a sticker chart and if they get all the stickers, then they can get one toy. And so they're really close. They've been working on it for the past few weeks. So they're really close. Hi huh, guys, what are you guys gonna get? I think I want this. I think I like that. I thought you guys wanted one of these guys. I do. <laughs> Maybe Okay, you only have three left, so you gotta clean. 
So we are back home and everybody's napping. Molly's right here. The boys fell asleep and I should probably film a video right now, but my house is like pretty messy, pretty cluttered because just random things are like, I'm looking around, look at this. There's like random shoe, random balloon, a random water bottle, random minion. It's just like random stuff that needs to be picked up because the boys like to play um, with everything. Um, I wanted to also address a couple of questions because people have been asking me some questions. I think one of the popular questions was how I find time to work out. And the answer for you guys is you just find time. No one else is going to find time for you except you. Like there will never be a consistent time every day that you can work out. That will never happen. Just be open to waking up early, going to bed late, um, sacrificing a nap for a workout. If you really want to exercise, then totally you have to be the one to find the time. And sometimes it might seem impossible, um, but you can make it happen. Trust me, There's if there's a will, there is a way. Another question that people were asking me was how I get Molly to sleep through the night so well. You guys, I've had three kids now. This is the secret. There is no secret. There's not one formula that's going to fit everyone. I always see on Facebook, somebody will say, help, you guys, I don't know how to get my baby to sleep through the night. And everybody will say, baby wise, baby wise, baby wise, baby wise. Get the book. Your baby will sleep amazing. And I bought baby wise because I did the exact same thing. Did not work at all for me. At all. And I was like, am I a bad mom? Why is everybody saying that it's working for them? Um, that's just the idea I think that is wrong is that everybody just thinks that the same formula works for every kid. Because to me, I just, I've noticed with Max and Molly, now that I haven't tried to sleep train them or like put them on a regimen and schedule for them, cause, be, cause some kids that works great, but just don't be discouraged if it doesn't work great for you because you have to be the one that can figure it out. Do you know what I'm saying? Like nobody knows your baby better than you know your baby. So what works for somebody else's baby isn't necessarily gonna work for your baby. So you know your baby better than anybody else. What gets them calm, what calms them down, or if a routine works, whatever. My kids, I've noticed that doesn't work if I like force them to do something. So we just go off the fly. And I know that won't work for some people, but I just kind of let them find their own natural sleeping patterns. I don't force it by like a certain amount of time. I don't force like, oh, you've already had food so you can't eat, that sort of thing. I just, if they're hungry, I feed them. If they're tired, I let them sleep. I don't have like a specific thing and it just works. Like Molly's been sleeping through the night ever since she was like three weeks old. So that's what works for her, that's what worked for me, but that might not work for you. So just be open to exploring different ways of exploring things and don't just think there's one answer to get your baby to sleep through the night because there isn't. So I hate to tell you that, that there isn't like one certain thing you can do, um, but just, my biggest thing I think is to teaching your is to teach your child how to fall asleep on their own, and by doing that, um, just wait till they're a little drowsy and then put them down in the crib and then wait a couple minutes and see if they can fall asleep. If not, go in there and, and like comfort them, and then just keep doing that back and forth. And then before you know it, they'll just learn to put themselves to sleep. It's amazing. It's amazing when they do that. But yeah, so that's my two questions that I've been getting a lot lately. So. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might tidy, I might film a video, I don't know. I need to shave my legs. So maybe I'll take a sh quick shower. Okay, so Molly just woke up. I was just tidying a little bit around the house. Let me turn this. And I'm watching the next Food Network star because I love HGTV and the Food Network. Those are like my favorites. And Molly's watching it with me. There she is, sister, and I gotta change her diaper. And we were just cuddling on the couch and I was like about to fall asleep but then she woke up because she needed a diaper change. Huh, maybe. I just get so excited thinking about what our relationship is going to be like someday. Like we're gonna go get pedicure, pedicures together, manicures, we'll go shopping at Sephora and shopping at Madewell. I'm just having so much fun. <laughs> also, I have a, I got an email from Sephora saying I have a discount code so I'm like on Sephora on my app uh, my voice is cracking. I'm just looking at anything that I maybe could possibly get. Because I'm out of a couple of things that I need, so I'm like, might as well get it discounted, right? So, I'm going to take a look at that. And the boys are sleeping. And it's like a really cloudy, rainy day, all of a sudden. And it makes me super groggy. And Molly's kicking like crazy. Kicking like crazy. The power just went off. Are you serious? The power just went off. 
Uh, the TV is off. Everything off. That's crazy. Hopefully it comes back on because that would not be fun if it's out everywhere. Okay, yes. welcome. My cute little best friend. You have to make a choice. He has sucked on these two fingers his entire life. It's been great because no binky and he can't lose it. It can't fall out. <laughs> You're so sweet. And I changed into sweatpants because who wears a dress when they're like laying around at home? Or a skirt, I guess I should say. Now we're just waiting for Willie to wake up and for Molly to wake up again because we have to leave in 45 minutes to go meet my friend Amanda. And we're about to find out who is kicked off of the next Food Network star. Oh, that guy just got kicked off. Okay, so the boys are both awake now and they're eating their lunch because they both fell asleep before they got to eat lunch. So they're eating that and then we will be leaving pretty soon after that and Brad will meet us at our house. I thought I would do something kind of different. I don't know if anybody's ever done this in a vlog before, but I thought I would do in a vlog just like a segment every day of three things that I'm grateful for and then it will kind of force you guys to think of something that you're grateful for and then you can comment down below and let me know what you're grateful for. But I thought it would be kind of good to just kind of reflect every day and to kind of put something positive into these vlogs. So the number one thing I wanna say that I'm grateful for is Brad. I don't think I give him enough credit. Um, you guys don't really know him that well and a lot of you guys kind of laugh because you're like, oh yay, Brad's finally talking and stuff. You have to understand that Brad is not like me. He's not like, chatterbox blah, 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 blah. he's not like me second of all he's not a youtuber he doesn't want to be on youtube he's not a big talker like i want to be on the camera he's not like a shy quiet person but he's just not like a camera personality i guess so that's why you don't really see him that much but this man is the do it all like he can do anything he puts his mind to he's the hardest working guy i've ever known he is the most selfless man he does everything to help make our family you know strong and I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. I am so lucky to have him. I cannot even tell you guys how incredible he is. I wish you guys only knew the list of things that he has done to help me in my life. It's just amazing. Second thing I wanna say is I am thankful for my parents. They are incredible people. There is just so much I can tell you guys about them. First of all, they're letting us live in their house for free. Who does that? Who does that? My parents are letting us live here for free in this house and they are the most hardworking people besides Brad that I know. And they work a lot. And that's why I go to the restaurant a lot because I don't really go to their house that often because they're working a lot. So we usually go see them at the restaurant. Um, and third, I am grateful that we have the opportunity to live in Utah. Growing up, I promised myself I would never, ever, ever raise my children in Utah because I had grown up internationally. And so I, and Brad, thought the same thing because he grew up in Ohio. He's like, I don't want to raise my kids in Utah. There's kind of like a stigma about Utah. Uh, and you know it if you've lived here. But I am so grateful for Utah. I love it here. The weather is incredible. It's just beautiful. The mountains are five, 10 minutes away. There are so many family friendly things to do. I just, I met so many incredible people. It's just a beautiful, beautiful place to live. If I could be like the tourist, person for Utah, I would. I would be like the person that's like, go Utah because I love it here so much. So those are my th three things that I'm grateful for. Comment down below. Don't steal his drink, Will. Those are the three things that I'm grateful for. Help me think of a name for that. I gotta think of something, like the three gratitudes of something. I don't know, we'll think of something, but I'm gonna do it in every vlog until the end of August. So yeah, bye. Who is the happiest girl? Who is the happiest girl? Somebody just got her diaper changed in the van. <laughs> in the van. So my friend Amanda just left. It's really good to see her. And the boys are at it again, playing at the playground. And Brad is talking to a friend over there. Can you see them? There they are. I don't think I need to show you guys my house again because I've been going in there like literally every single day. But the weather here is so cool. It's like overcast. And I want to show you guys the view of the mountains. Look at that. Oh, I love Utah, but look at the overcast mountains. How pretty. So, so pretty. So I think now we're just going to go back home. We have two dirty diapers that we got to throw away. Huh, Molly's? I always think to her, sister, sister, didn't know how much I missed ya. Sister, sister, didn't know how much I missed ya. Oh, are you excited? 
à bơi tại sao chết 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 We are back home. It's like 7:30 ish now, and I am so thirsty. I'm just like chugging. This is the mug that my hospital gave me for after Molly. And Brad um, had a couple errands. He's like going to Costco to get some diapers for Molly because she's out and um, just selling something else that he always does when she lights on. It's really dark in here because it's like cloudy. And anyway, I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here because we're not doing anything else exciting today at all. I'm um, just gonna eat dinner and put the kids to bed. And I never got to take like a shower today. <coughs> so I'm probably gonna do that now. <coughs> Can you say good night, Molly? Oh, that was good. Say good night, thanks for watching. Can you say good night? Thanks for watching. Do you wanna say anything, Willie? Um. No. So tomorrow we are going to take Will to get tested for his preschool. Um, so then we're gonna go to lunch with a friend and that's our plan for tomorrow. And I'm really tired and I'm thinking about how I still have to like go edit tonight after I finish the bed. That's so much work. And then tomorrow I am doing the um, movie premiere. So I'm really excited to meet April and there's other YouTubers that are gonna be there too. So I'm really excited to vlog with another YouTuber. I've never vlogged with another YouTuber in my life. So cheers. Good night. Love you all. Bye. Willie wanted to hold Molly. Here's Willie holding Molly. You love your big brother. What is Winston doing? <laughs> he wants to play. Be soft with Molly. Ah! <laughs>